Okay, uh, so for this video, we'll be going through the success criteria of uh, energy. Okay, so these are the success criteria, right? Uh, you can look through it. So basically, there are four processes. There are four energy transfer type. One is by chemically, uh, mechanically. The other one is electrically, okay, by electric current. Uh, next is by heating due to a temperature difference. And lastly, will be by propagation of waves, both electromagnetic and mechanical. So propagation, you can treat it as a uh, motion or yeah, a motion of wave. Okay. Uh, then there will be two formulas that we need to know. Uh, kinetic energy uh, is half mv square. Uh, gravitational potential energy is using this formula. Uh, MGH. We will go through it in detail later on. Okay, so take note that this chapter is a SI unit chapter. So everything has to be in SI unit. Okay, so yeah. Next, we need to be able to state the principle of conservation of energy. Okay, so this is a principle that you need to memorize. Then we have another formula. Work done is force multiplied by distance. And lastly, we have power equals to energy transfer over time taken. Okay, so let's go into success criteria A. Okay, so for success, success criteria A, you need to show an understanding that there are energy stores. Okay, so we have different energy stores. We have a total of six. Uh, kinetic, potential. Under potential, there is gravitational, chemical, and elastic. So I will have gravitational potential store, chemical potential store, and elastic potential store. Then we also have nuclear and internal. Okay. Take note that all this energy can be transferred from one store to another. So the keywords here are transfer of energy. And how is it transferred from one store to another? And there are four methods of energy transfer. Alright, so you need to know the methods. You need to know how the energy are being transferred from one store to an another. Okay, uh, this is the simple definition for energy. And we take note that SI unit for energy is joules. J-O-U-L-E, capital letter J for the units. Okay, so these are the six energy stores. Basically, kinetic store is anything that is in motion, okay? So, if you are not able to see this clearly, you can refer to your textbook, okay? Uh, the pictures are taken from there. Then, we also have elastic potential store. So, this is, can be in a stretch rubber band or a compressed spring. Then, internal store is basically thermal due to a difference in uh, temperature, okay? Uh, then, we have nuclear store. We have also gravitational potential store and chemical potential store okay so chemical potential store is the food that we eat fossil fuels and battery okay now we just treat energy stores as a system uh, so for energy store sorry it is a system that consists of different parts working together uh, gravitational potential store of an object is actually an energy store of the object with the earth system okay uh, when we refer to the gravitational potential store of the object, the Earth has been considered as part of the system. That means we only consider Earth and the object. Okay, uh, energy transfer, we think of energy as a non-physical and invisible substance that can be transferred from one energy store to another. Okay, and take note that the total amount of energy remains constant. So you need to know the four uh, ways of uh, energy transfer. So I say again, mechanically by heating, by propagation of wave. Wave there is electromagnetic and mechanical, and then also by electrical. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples. Okay, so uh, the first one is energy transferred mechanically by a force acting over a distance. Right, so we apply a force on a cart that was originally moving with constant velocity over a smooth surface. So if this thing was moving, then there is energy in a kinetic store. Okay, how do we show this? Okay, so uh, because there's resultant force, the surface is smooth, so the pushing force becomes the only force 
in the horizontal direction that will make it the resultant force therefore it will cause the car to accelerate that means it will speed up right okay so this is the energy part okay before the force is applied the system has energy in its kinetic store okay uh, and we represent the energy in the kinetic store by one unit okay why one one unit is just arbitrary you just choose this number one then now I apply uh, a force and I transfer this energy mechanically okay the energy is transferred mechanically by my force okay and it goes into the cut so after this transfer is completed I will have all together three uh, units of energy in the kinetic store okay and kinetic uh, energy in the kinetic store refers to how uh, it's linked to the motion of the object so if I have more energy that means the object will actually move faster okay we also take note that because there's no friction due to the smooth surface energy transfer out of the system is zero right okay next is uh, energy transfer by heating due to a temperature difference initially I have a block of butter at room temperature so actually it has in it one unit of internal store okay now it is placed on a pan on an electric stove and because there's a temperature difference the uh, pan becomes hot so you transfer the energy by uh, conduction due to a temperature difference okay due to a temperature difference so I initially there's one uh, unit of energy internal energy in the butter but because of the hot stove I transfer five units into it so total there will be six units okay so next ends up next example is the energy transfer by propagation of wave uh, electromagnetic wave you don't know this term yet but it actually refers to things like light radio and uh, ultraviolet okay uh, and also in this case we are using infrared waves okay so a girl is feeling warm and starts to a perspire after kicking a ball in an open field on a sunny day right because the infrared waves from the Sun uh, is being transferred to the girl right so initially the girl has one unit of uh, internal energy in her and due to the infrared waves okay this energy are transferred by propagation of uh, electromagnetic waves okay so now there will be four units because three units were being transferred okay so just take note that all these uh, numbers are arbitrary so you can initially have two internal energy two units then I transfer four from the source which is the Sun so total there will be six later on in the internal energy of the girl okay so uh, the one three and four here is just to use as an example okay then we also have another example of waves but this time it is by mechanical wave okay so a sound is heard each time a boy hits two symbols together because the uh, symbols vibrate to and fro they cause the air particles next to the vibrating symbols to also vibrate to and fro so this uh, vibration will actually be transferred to the boy's eardrum okay the eardrums will be vibrating and therefore the sound is heard detected by the boy so initially the eardrum is not moving therefore there is zero units of kinetic energy for his eardrums but because of the symbol clashing together they cause a vibration and by this sound wave by this propagation of this mechanical sound wave okay it causes five units so if I were to uh, hit the symbols louder with a larger force then probably this uh, number of units that's transferred to the eardrum will become six or seven okay but in this example they use five so in the end I will have five units of kinetic energy okay next example energy transferred electrically by an electric current when a switch is closed the bulb lights up 
the battery has energies in the chemical potential store okay so battery cells all these have energy in the chemical potential store this electric current will flow in the circuit when the switch is closed and this flow of electric current will increase the temperature of the filament in the light bulb and causes it to light up so initially it has one unit of uh, internal energy okay then uh, four units are being transferred. So again, Y4 is just an arbitrary number. However, two units of energy are transferred by light and infrared wave to the surrounding. Okay. So in the end, 1 plus 4 minus 2, we only have three units. Okay. At the final state after the switch is closed, the energy in the internal store of the bulb increases that means you touch the light bulb it will be hot these two are actually energy uh, that is being transferred to the surrounding by light and infrared waves so light and infrared waves are actually your electromagnetic waves okay so this is the light and the infrared waves that the we see okay but these three units of internal energy is actually just to heat up the filament but we actually don't want the filament to heat up if we want to turn on the lights to see right we want the uh, light bulb to transfer the light energy okay to the surrounding right so this is the what we see and this is what happens to the internal energy of the light bulb it becomes hot okay Okay, next we have uh, another example whereby a uh, boy is using a hammer to hit a nail. So it's divided into three parts, one, two, and three. So initially, the hammer is raised up. When it's raised up, it actually has four units of uh, energy in a gravitational potential store. Okay, and one unit of energy is transferred mechanically due to the work done by the force of the person's hand. So when he drives it down, he doesn't just let it go. He also applied a force. When he applied a force, then all this energy in two, in stage two, will become the energy in a kinetic store. So initially, I have four units of GPE plus one unit from the force, right? The hand actually applies a force which then transfer the energy. So in total, this causes the hammer to have five units of energy in a kinetic store. Okay? Then this energy will then be transferred to the nail. Okay? So we move on to stage two and three, right? Over here. The initial amount of energy as the hammer moves down before impact. Just before hitting, the hammer actually have five units of energy in the kinetic store what happens to all this energy one unit of energy is transferred to the surrounding by sound wave so this sound wave is mechanical sound wave mechanical right you hear the heating of the nail two are transferred mechanically to the nail and driving it down right that's the purpose of hammering a nail so one unit for the sound sound wave one unit to drive the nail into the wood so can it be other units other uh, number of units of course you can right so it is just an example then because you hit the nail there will be two units of internal energy right if you touch the nail you'll become hot okay but the total you see is one two and two so total i have five where did we get these five units if from is from the energy in the kinetic store okay so all these examples is just to show you how the energy is being transferred from one store to another okay it can be from one store to another store within the same object or it can be one uh, energy store from one object to another object's energy store okay and we also see that the number of uh, units, the number of units of energy remains the same. 
no energy will be lost or created okay it's just transferred from one store to another so this is your success criteria a